Hello, and welcome to today's Grammar Game Show. I'm your host, Mark. And of course, let's not forget Peter, our all-knowing boys in the sky. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to ask three questions about... The present simple and the present continuous tenses. Okay, now let's meet our contestants. Hello everyone, my name is Angie. Contestant number two? Hi Mark, I'm Mary. Let's get going. And don't forget, you can play along at home too. Our first round is a quick fire round. So get those fingers on those buzzers. I'm going to show you a sentence and I want to know if it's in the present simple or the present continuous tense. One point for every correct answer. Ready? Let's go! I never work very hard. Present simple. Correct! I'm sitting at home. Present continuous. Correct! Are you having lunch? Present continuous. Correct. He doesn't know. Present simple. Correct. Do you live here? Present simple. Correct. She isn't coming home today. Present continuous. Correct. Tell them, Peter! The present simple is used for habits, permanent situations, and truth. And is formed using an S on the verb in the third person affirmative. And do or does in questions and negatives. The present continuous talks about actions happening now or around now and is formed with B plus ING. Good work! Let's count out the scores! That's one for Angie. And that's one for you. And two for you. And two for you. And three for you. And one, two, three for you. So Angie has three points and Mary got six. But I... Let's move on to our second round. True or false? Both the present continuous and the present simple tense can be used to talk about the future. False. Only the present continuous can be used for the future. For example, I'm playing tennis tomorrow. Peter? Sorry, not quite right. Mary, would you like to give it a try? She said false and was wrong, so... Mm, true. Peter? That's right! The present continuous can be used for future arrangements such as I'm having dinner tomorrow. But the present simple can also be used for the future for the timetabled events such as aeroplanes. For example, my flight leaves at 6.30 tomorrow. Good job, Mary. You have 30 points. 30 points? What? Okay, it's time for our final question. Fingers on the buzzers. When can the present simple be used with the present continuous meaning? Sorry, I got all excited. I know, I know when you use a state verb. Peter? Well done, Angie. State verbs, for example, need, cannot be used continuously. You cannot say, I am needing, but only I need, even if we mean right now. Well done, Angie. Good answer. You can have one point. Ah, oh, come on. How about two? All right. Two then, but no ice cream! <laughs> well, that brings us to the end of today's Grammar Game Show! 
Let's count up the points. And the winner is... Andy with 31 points! Yes! Well done! Here's what you won! Yes, I won a holiday! Oh no, no! You won a picture of a holiday! But I went there last year and it was lovely! And how did you do at home? We'll see you again next time, where you can play for an even bigger prize. And Mary, you tried hard. How do you feel? Thanks for joining us. Say goodbye, Peter. Goodbye. See you next time.